everyone. This week's video is all about texture. I'm putting three texture sprays up against each other to see which one is the best. So let's get started. So we're going to be comparing Sexy Hair Surfer Girl Dry Texture Spray, Amika's Undone Volume and Matte Texture Spray, and Waze Texturizing Hairspray. Surfer Girl Dry Texture Spray, I have never used this before, so it's completely brand new to me. I have had coworkers over the years in the salon who really love this one, so I'm excited to see how well it works for me. This texture spray provides up to 24 hours of humidity resistance, creates buildable volume, helps maintain your hair's natural shine, and is suggested for any hair type. I like the idea of the shine aspect. I do feel some texture sprays can give you a bit of a dull look, so I'm excited to see if that statement is true. This is sold at Ulta, retails for $19.95 and is 6.8 ounces. Waze Texturizing Hairspray describes itself as if a dry shampoo and hairspray had a baby, and they've already got me sold with that description. It also says it's good on all hair types. Its key benefits are that it builds volume and texture and absorbs oil. It can be purchased through their website at Sephora on Amazon. It retails for $26 and is 4.5 ounces, and I'm actually most excited to try this one out. And third in the lineup, we have Amika's Undone Volume and Matte Texture Spray. This you can purchase directly from their website at Sephora as well. It's $25 and it's 5.3 ounces. So Undone is also ideal on all hair types. It creates a beachy texture, long lasting volume, and leaves the hair with a matte finish, which I'm a little meh on the idea of a matte finish, but not everyone likes shine in the hair. Um, and I'm curious if it gives off a dull look or not with the choice of matte being in the description. So I'm going to start off first with Sexy Hair Surfer Girl. So let's get started. Okay, before I spray this on my hair, I wanna make note of the styling products I used. I just used Redken Guts on my roots and Small Talk, it's a thickening cream on my ends. I didn't want a ton of product feel on my ends, that's why I opted for the thickening cream, just because the texture spray creates enough product feel on its own. So we're just gonna get started. I'm gonna shake the can well, and I'm just gonna start kinda of spraying it everywhere. It has a very nice smell. All right, and then I like to flip my head a little bit too with it. There is a little bit of a uh, fog for sure. I can see it floating around the room, but it's a little cloggy, but the smell is nice. It's enough scent without being like too overwhelmingly strong. And actually, as far as product feel goes, it's not bad at all. So I am happy with it. So I'm just going to do this much for now and see how it holds up. And then tomorrow will be my day two. I'll use more of it before I go to work. I'm curious about the buildable volume with it. And I don't feel like my hair is dull or flat at all. That's for sure. I don't know if you guys think it does on camera, but I don't feel like it does. So I'm just going to do a little bit more. I definitely, at least off of just spraying it now, feel like you could definitely build this up without it being too rough in your hair and feeling clogged. So I'll just do a little rotation so you guys can see it. So yeah, it's not a bad feel at all. It gave me some body, definitely some movement in there. So yeah, I will update tomorrow. Tomorrow I will probably reshape my hair a little bit where it's needed and then use a little bit more. So I will keep you guys updated and I'll see you soon. Okay, so we are on day two now of using Surfer Girl from Sexy Hair. I'm really impressed so far. Um, there is a little bit of a product feel, but nothing really that crazy for a texture spray, I should say. I don't know that I feel like it's like giving me a bunch of shine um, that it says it necessarily helps your hair maintain its natural shine. I don't feel like it's flat and dull though, so I do appreciate that, but I'm really pleased. I feel like if I weren't lined up to test out the other two products this week, I could go a third day with this tomorrow. Um, I wouldn't use a lot, but I'm really happy with the amount of volume that it's held throughout my day today, my whole day in the salon, and I didn't have to do any teasing or anything like that. So, so far, so good on this one. I'm really enjoying it and I'm very excited to see how it compares to the other two. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna try out Way's texturizing hairspray. I'm really excited to try this out. Dry shampoo hairspray has a baby, so I'm really curious. The hold and the absorbing of any oils, especially for like my day two, obviously my hair is clean and I styled it. So just gonna shake up the can and get to spraying. It has a light smell. I'd say it's a little less um, powdery, smoky than Surfer Girl. So yeah, I pretty, it's, it's very, very light of a feel on the hair compared to Surfer Girl. So I'm curious to hold just because there's not as much stiffness, but that's not a bad thing either with the texturizing spray because sometimes they get a little too producty feeling. So we'll see how this holds up throughout my day. And um, I definitely feel like I can use it for day two, no problem. So we'll see how it does throughout my day and what it's like in the morning and what it's like spring on day two to see how much product it feels. So, all righty. Okay, so I am on day two now for using Waze Texturizing Spray. I will say compared to Surfer Girl, it's a lot less product feel in my hair this next day. Um, so I do like that. I don't feel like I um, maintained as much body per se compared to Surfer Girl, but we'll see how this goes on my day two. I like that there's not a lot of product feel at all, so that's nice. You can definitely build it up easily. So I'm just gonna respray. So that way I get a little bit more body today and hopefully more hold having it built up. Yeah, I mean, even spraying it in, it's still very light on the second time of building it up, so. Not a bad thing. Okay, so now I'm going to be finally using Amika's Undone Volume and Matte Texturizing Spray. I'm curious with this one if it's gonna look like kind of flat at all, just because of the word matte. Um, and then of course I'm gonna be seeing how well it holds up as far as hold and volume and stuff throughout today and into my day two. Definitely more gritty than Waze, but probably about the same as Surfer Girl. Got a lot of fullness with it, that's for sure. So yeah, we'll see how well it holds up. And as far as the holds, and I'm in Florida, so the humidity is crazy. So yeah, there we go. Okay, so today is my day two with Undone from Amika. I did have to pretty much recurl all of my hair. My curls just did not hold up well overnight, um, so that was a little disappointing because with Surfer Girl, I didn't have that issue, but that's not necessarily to say it's from the Amika. But the one thing that was nice was that my hair's not super stiff and I was able to get my curling iron through it just fine. And I sprayed more of it in afterwards and it's really, I can get my hands through it well enough. So I like that aspect. I don't feel like it's super dull or anything either. I do feel for sure I could get through this for a day three, definitely. So I don't, I don't know how I feel if it didn't hold the curls or not because there really isn't much humidity resistance with this and I am in Florida, so I don't know if that's why the curls fell out. Either way though, I'm not unhappy with it. I think my hair still looks good. It still has a lot of body and movement with it. Maybe not quite as much as Surfer Girl or Waze Texturizing Hairspray, so I'll have to give you guys my final thoughts here. All right, so now I've officially used all three texture sprays and it's time for my final thoughts on each of them. Surfer Girl from Sexy Hair, I felt like gave the most grit to my hair and the most texture look and feel. I really like the resistance to humidity, especially living in Florida. It's very appreciated. And like I said on day two, I felt like I could have easily used it again on day three. But thinking back, I don't know that I would have exactly needed more product. I think I could have just fluffed my hair with my hands and been fine. Waze Texturizing Spray, I appreciated how light and airy it felt. I never felt like I 
had this crazy product feel that texture sprays can sometimes give. The smell is very light compared to Surfer Girl. I would say it was the finest mist of all three and I did find that I could spray this closer to my scalp over both Amika and Sexy Hair without it feeling too stiff. Amika's, I was overall happy with it. While I don't feel like there's necessarily like a ton of pros to point out, I didn't feel though any real negative thoughts on it either. Its performance was good. It gave good volume and movement to my hair. And even with the matte description, I didn't feel like my hair was left looking dull whatsoever. All right, so drum roll. I have to pick a favorite, which I feel is hard because I wasn't exactly unhappy with any of them, but I have to give it to Surfer Girl. I really, at the end of the day, the humidity resistance, I really feel did make a difference in the holds of my curl and the movement that I maintained. I feel like this one maintained the most amount of volume and texture throughout the day and into day two. And I guess I would say that, yes, it has a little bit more of a product feel to it, but the hold and volume I got with it outweighed to me the con of a more product feel. Ways I would suggest for people who like some texture but a lighter product feel, and it's not like you're gonna be disappointed with Amika's Undone. I overall just feel the other two had a little bit more standing out key points. I will link all of these products below in the description for where you can purchase them online. If you've used any of these three and tried them out, let me know in the comments below your thoughts on them. Like this video if you enjoyed it and please, please, please hit that subscribe button. It means so much to me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you next week.